automaker Honda Motor and battery maker GSU Arza will receive a 158.7 billion yen government subsidy as part of a program to strengthen domestic production of storage batteries. These batteries are important for economic security and their use in electric vehicles and homes. Companies will invest a total of 430 billion yen to start supplying lithium-ion batteries from April 2027, and subsidies from the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry will help achieve this goal. Hiroshima Prefecture has initiated a project to enhance the value of its Wagyu beef brand and increase its consumption, called Hiroshima Jiu 7, inspired by the upcoming G7 summit. Hiroshima Wagyu beef is known for its delicate taste and high quality. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected the prices of the Wagyu industry in the prefecture, and the Hiroshima Jiu 7 project seeks to take the opportunity of the G7 summit to promote its brand and increase its consumption. The project has the collaboration of producers, wholesalers and distributors. Cosmetics manufacturers in Japan are accelerating their efforts to reduce plastic use in response to growing customer demand to be greener. Cow Corporation began a demonstration experiment to collect used containers of skin care products and recycle them into bottles. Fankel Corporation expanded the number of stores that collect used containers for recycling into pots. Shido Company has been boosting sales of refill packs for its Elixir Cosmetics brand. The beauty products industry is working to reduce the use of plastic, as more and more consumers seek a luxurious, eco-friendly experience. The Japanese company Tsukubo has launched a new funeral service, Space Burial. In collaboration with SpaceX, the company sent the cremated remains of 10 people and pets into space in April 2022. The goal is to give families the opportunity to fulfill their loved one's last wish to travel to space. The space funeral service is a new option for natural burial and costs 550,000 yen for a partial burial of up to 50 grams of remains. The company plans to launch another space burial in January next year. Sony has reported record annual sales of 11.5 billion yen. Driven by a weak yen and growth in its entertainment and image sensor sectors, the Japanese conglomerate's annual net profit also rose 6.2% from a year earlier. Sony is expected to keep annual sales at the same level, but forecasts a lower net profit in the current fiscal year due to technical reasons related to tax expenses. In addition, the company sold 19.1 million PlayStation 5 consoles in the past year, compared to 11.5 million the year before. In a gesture for gender equality in the workplace, a female member of a government panel brought her two-month-old baby to a meeting at the office of Japan's Prime Minister, Shogo Takahashi, founder of Jenna Quest Incorporated, was able to participate in the meeting thanks to the availability of a breastfeeding facility that her secretariat had prepared. Although her baby started crying during the meeting, Takahashi said they all went to friendly and welcoming. The cabinet has promised to take steps to promote women's empowerment. Japan has announced plans to allow the construction of offshore wind farms in its exclusive economic zone that extends up to 200 nautical miles from the coast. Currently, such facilities can only be built within territorial waters extending up to 12 nautical miles from the coast. The government points to offshore wind power generation as a trump card to achieve a carbon-neutral society and create a sustainable ocean. The expansion of facility locations will be included in legislation to be prepared over the next five years.
Fusa Tatsumi, Japan's oldest living person, celebrated her 116th birthday at a nursing home in Kashiwara City, Osaka Prefecture. The city's mayor read a congratulatory letter and gifts were given by an American company that recognizes the world's oldest people. Tatsumi lives in the nursing home and spends his days in bed, but his son highlighted his orderly lifestyle as a possible reason for his longevity. The small town of Nagi, in Okayama Prefecture, Japan, has managed to double its regional fertility rate to 2.95, far exceeding the average rate nationwide. This is due to the unique approaches the city has implemented to help parents, such as creating children's homes and reducing the number of city officials and city assembly members to fundraise. The city also covers all medical expenses for school-age underage residents, eliminating a significant financial burden on parents. Japan's Defense Minister Yasukazu Hamada has ordered the country's military to prepare to shoot down a North Korean spy satellite in case it falls inside Japanese territory. Preparations include deploying troops to the southern prefecture of Okinawa to minimize damage in the event of a ballistic missile landing. This comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un announced plans for the launch of the country's first spy satellite, as a measure to counter perceived threats from the United States and South Korea.